What's up guys and welcome back to Far Cry 6. So we are back baby, back in action. Time to keep taking over El Este and we are currently en route to a Biovita facility. We want to take some photos to bring back to the old timers back here on top of the mountain. Get them fired up, get them upset about what's going on. Obviously a, a lot more than meets the eye. Uh, Castillo's not being honest with what they're doing So uh, I have been doing some grinding off screen You guys will see we went pretty much around the entire outside of the map And hit every single checkpoint So we've got a bunch of fast travel points now We've also leveled up to level 10 Which is uh, a pretty big deal Like we were at level 8 or something like that So we're in a pretty good spot now It's interesting So this island like we've been talking about before The interior is is literally all just dirt roads There are no checkpoints or anything It's, it's so just country jungle there's there's nothing going on on the inside which i thought was was kind of a little bit interesting now i do have something i need to tell you guys and i'm, I'm really sorry about it so i the last like 20 minutes or so of the game uh, have disappeared um sometimes like I'm, I'm playing on pc and sometimes my computer will record my left screen instead of the gameplay screen i have no clue why but uh, I didn't notice it until like 20 minutes in. I'm gonna grab some gameplay from someone else's YouTube video. It was a pretty cool mission, it was with La Morale, so we learned that, you know, although they've been made out to be like this really rough around the edges, you know, young kids with guns, they're actually super organized, they have a plan, like they're gonna be a great ally for us. Some of their people were captured on a ship, so we, we met with the local farmer, hopped in his helicopter, he flew us out to the ship, we jumped out, landed on the ship, it was like a really cool, you know, mission. I'm, I'm sad that we aren't gonna have it, but unfortunately there's no like uh, reloads, there's no backtracking, there's no, you know, um, alternate saves or anything that we can work with in this game. I don't know why. I, most games have like manual saves. This game doesn't, which is really unfortunate, especially for situations Can like I that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened there. It was an epic mission. I'm sorry we won't be able to. Ooh. Taking photos. Search the Biovita facility. Use up to take out your phone. Aim at the target. Press RB to take the photo. So we're gonna be taking taking pictures of anything that we think is wrong. Take photos of what they're doing to the pariah. Alright. Here we go. So yeah, ultimately, I apologize. Gonna try to make sure that doesn't happen again. Sometimes tech issues happen though, like this. Those look like cages. But or what? Not really a whole lot I can do sometimes, so. Gonna take this guy out. Good night. Beautiful. Okay, well, they've got Inga. humans. What the Inga? What the fuck are they doing to these poor in people? In cages. I need more pigs. These people are sick, really sick. I mean, it's kind of messed up that we're just coming in here taking photos. Is this what they are doing to all the outcasts? Something bad is happening over on the other end there. Oh. Now, there aren't too many enemies here. I'm gonna head this way. Try getting up top, see if we can get an overview. What is that red smoke? Should kill the alarm. Looks like they're they're dumping bodies. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. Just insane, dude. There's a guy over in the building to the right. Somewhere in here. Yeah. Okay. Can't really see his, his head there. He was kind of in the dark, so I'm going to wait for him to come out, and then we're going to take him down. He's down. Dude, this is so messed up. There's something under the water. Oh, it's gonna be a It's gonna be a whole thing of bodies. Oh dude. Back 
carajo. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. This is terrible. I need more pigs. This is what we're dealing with out here. Honestly, I think El Este might be the, the worst of all of them so far. Like, it's... It's pretty not great. Ooh, almost messed that up right there. Are they gonna come this way? Looks like one of them might. He's down. She's down. 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 We're good. Hopefully nobody heard that. Disable all the alarms just in case we miss any shots again. Looks like the guys that were on this side of the map. I don't know where we got the key from. It's over here somewhere. Down. Must have got the key off the 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 what's it called? The the main lady, the guard lady. I need more picks. Go in here, can't go in there. What do we think is inside this? All of this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing to these people? This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. I was really hoping we were going to be able to kill the doctors right there, but it looks like we don't have the option. El Tigre, I've got the picks. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Okay, get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. So ultimately what we have going on here is when we were talking with La Morale, which is like the younger group of kids, they think the old people are washed up and they think they're not willing to fight and they think they're being lazy and just hiding up on the mountain, whereas obviously the older people think that the younger kids are way too brash, they're not experienced, they're just running around with guns, getting themselves in trouble. Both sides really want the same thing, we've just got to convince them that we need to work together, and, and obviously both sides have a lot to offer, so. I think it's going to be our goal to, uh, to, you know, reunite them, bring them together, make a, a super army. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place when Ron was talking about. You swipe to the left. <laughs> they look free to you. Merda. This is what Liberta and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the end. You shoot the tree. Just gotta get him fired up. We're gonna get him there. I can understand why they'd be hesitant, but like, come on now. Those those pictures are very clearly. A bit of above and beyond, so. Alright. Bullet points. Brand new operation. Time to go roll out. We're getting a phone call. Come back to El Aguero. Shit is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. Okay. So Yelena is like the head of La Morale. They're over here in Concepcion. They've got kind of like a, a secret little hideout. So let's see, you cannot fast travel to an active mission location. So we're gonna fast travel over here. So in that last mission that I was telling you guys, unfortunately we, we can't replay and we missed because the the tech issue. We had to come in, we had to find their secret camp. So we had a couple of photos. We had a photo of this wall here and then this painting. It's like squid octopus eye or something. This is their, their secret. Secret hideout down here, so let's go talk to them, see what we got going on. I mean, you guys can see, you know, they are just some kids, they're a little crazy, but they've got a plan. Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents, 
and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson. At school? On my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? El Tigre. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. I love him so much. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. You need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. Always three more. So we've got three so she's not big on three machines. options here. I'm gonna go with Yelena. Let's see what we've got going on. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy touristas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist. The regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Okay. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Over here. By any means necessary, does that does that mean we might want to silence him? Permanent, like permanently. That was uh, some speed. Right? I mean, that's one way to do things. Now the problem is this town has a uh, it's got a curfew, so right now we are not allowed to be outside, and we will be chased down if we're caught. So we have to be very careful. Looks like uh, this is where we're gonna be going. This must be the truck we're looking for. You got my help, brother? Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I could sneak you past the guards. Hop in. All right. Don't mind if I do. Oh, she. You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I got your back, bro. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. It's typically how to torture Hugo goes. Quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Man, this is so cool. I really feel like everything's coming together. We're getting groups together. Everyone's backing Liberta. People have hope for once, which is one of the most important things. Checkpoint. Got to be careful. Quiet. What's your business? Delivery from command. Yeah? Okay. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, for her. Fuck that. Go on. <laughs> Head up. Perfect. Little reverse psychology there. We're good to go. Still gonna be a lot more where that came from, though. 
I love these secret missions, dude. This, I think, <sighs> it's been so long since I've played some of the other ones. Far Cry 4 was great. I would say Far Cry 3 was my favorite. I think this I might be up there. On a mountain. Looks fancy. Looks like this place isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny, I'm your eyes on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Medic can't save you. The dentist. I'm gonna try going up over here. Multiple guys back in the back. Got a guy in the door right there. Got somebody back here. Those two are down. Can't believe he was going to come up right on top of us. Should we, I mean, should we just kill him? I feel like killing him is going to be our easiest option. Let's jump across here. We're going to be fine. As long as they don't see us. Want to make sure we take out the dentist as well. This is insane, dude. They have no idea. They still don't know. She's down. We're good. Probably don't have to yeet yourself off like that, Trev. Elena, the dentist is dead. The morale is safe for now. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last area here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, we got it done. Not a, a you know. Pretty cash come in there, stop and interrogate. I, I thought about just straight up shooting him. Come here. <laughs> Probably could have been easier. Yeah. What you think, El Tigre? Abuelo? <laughs> Love it. New base of operations. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? God, she is conflict. Ugly. It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war, at least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? Libertards? <laughs> this means chica. She means business. And what about the violent <laughs> gang known as La Mora? I shouldn't have laughed at that. Anyone who attacks Yara's military or her business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? right. She just looks no like Freya a Coppice biatch. Buonata. That's the Admiral we've been fighting this whole time. Cut. I gotta go. Also, he seems very full of himself, and he's gotta go as well. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. Admiral Benitez. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've only 
He's taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Oh! Gracias, señor presidente. Yeah, I can't wait to take her out of her her little spire on the, the hillside, castle on the hill. Okay. Room service for oh, there's a quinceanera going on over here. I'm I'm sorry to interrupt that. But that was a pretty good time. Try to grab everything we can. We've got one up. A box somewhere. Looks like maybe downstairs. Try to grab this weapons cache. Beautiful. F&D box, all right. Back at, at base camp here. Back at our main location. You guys know we had three missions from three different people. We're gonna take on, uh... Let's go, Danny. Yon Rons. There's these farmers in Sombrero Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. <laughs> they were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy convoy is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Wow. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. I mean, this is going to be a Don't personal in you, insult to Benitez. So I am very excited about this. I am 100% uh, down to stick it to her. We got a farmer in here. Hello. Knuckleball. Where does that freedom go? I mean, I don't want to just come up in your house and take your stuff, but it looks like you're inviting me to do so. You need us? I do. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. Sí. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? I did. <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, convoy! All right. So they've got mortars. Where'd my horse go? My horse is roaming around here somewhere. She took off. Right, I'm just I'm gonna take one of your horses if you don't mind. I know we just met, but it's you know just a cost of, of doing business. I guess let's go to this one next, then we'll hit the third one. We're gonna round up everyone we can, have a whole squad ready to ride out and meet at the pass, baby. See, this is what I love. Getting getting the people of of you know. You're good. Don't worry about it. I need your help. Uh, there's no combat to be had here. I just uh, ran the horse in, into it. We're, we're, we're good. It's nice to see you guys are all strapped up, ready to go. Looking like some real corn-fed gentlemen. Ready to throw down at any moment's notice. I appreciate that. I still can't talk. Okay. We gotta let him cool his, his jimmies for a minute before we can talk to him. What's up? When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass, fucking up the convoy, taking whatever they're carrying. Good memory. I'm fighting with Honron. Carajo, you're ready. I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I have been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG <laughs> is locked and loaded. Okay. So one set had mortars, the other set had RPGs, and now we're on to number three. Are these... Coconuts? A coconut farm, okay. I would go coconuts if you join me against Drop the coconuts. Benitez. Knuckleball is a go. Bingo. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Road Perfecto. spikes, beautiful. We get to use them. 
Ambush the convoy. Well, I'm gonna need I'm a wrong. vehicle. I think I spotted the convoy. Binga. They're not even at the pass yet. You might wanna wait until they get there. Or not. You're gone. Your car. Go oh, I'm definitely gonna wait. If we've if, you know run around town getting everybody to come join us, then a hundred percent. So the the convoy is here. The pass. I uh, forget where it is. I think I think it might be up around here. There's like a, a land bridge that goes across the road. So let's go catch up to him. We're just gonna watch him from a distance and we're gonna see the uh the plan spring into action. They've got a tank as well. Oh, we could have shot the rocks down on top of them. That would have been a decent idea. Nothing to see here, just uh, awkwardly following ya. Everything's gonna be all right. That's the pass up there. Let's see where the, the little land bridge comes across. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna throw the rocket launcher on number three. Dude, this better be epic. I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be intense. Woo! All our people are in position. Got it, Honron. Let's go. There it is. I'm not shooting anyone, baby. Blew up their vehicle. Well, I kind of, I kind of shot one of our teammates. It's okay. I don't know how we're gonna take down the tank. I actually think, I think we might have an anti-tank rifle from one of our pre-order bonuses or something like that. If we go over into our snipers, it's this thing, the Corbacon. Uh, it actually doesn't do much, I don't think. Yeah, it does, it does nothing. For some reason, I thought that was like a special rifle. We've got to take the, the tank down somehow, and I'm not sure how. He's down. I mean, we've got sticks of dynamite. Man versus tank, one more, that's gonna be it. There it is. I think we definitely need some sort of an anti-tank. Weapon, explosive, mine, I don't care what it is. Gold! <laughs> Jackpot. Okay. How goes it? This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. See, on Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now, so watch the roads. Okay. I like these young Darius. They remind me of, well, me, only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national pretty impressive. treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. He's Castillo being held captive in a... Bullets, but we will have Carlito. And Carlito only needs one. In a museum? 
Is Carlito a human? But uh, I'm not really sure. Is this a weapon we're talking about? It, it, I... If you're going to the museum, more revisionist history than anything. Got it. Thanks, bro. I wasn't gonna believe him anyway. Yeah, I. I don't know what this crazy old man is up to, but uh, let's let's go run his errand for him. Museo de la Falsa Revolución. So this is gonna be all about the um. The revolution of 67, the legends and everything they were up to. Hola. Hey. How you guys doing? What's up, my man? The museum is free. Sweet. El Presidente Castillo has given us this museum as a gift. Thank him for me. It's no gift. This is all propaganda, sir. Don't trust it. This is kind of cool. Is that, that's El Tigre right there. Nice, looking very stoic. Looks like we've got Little audio panels. Is that Diego? Diego well, over here. We've got little pamphlets and stuff. Record player is a tool, but in the hands of radicals, it becomes a weapon. Pro revolution propagandist music by Pedro Torero and others radicalized vulnerable yarns, many of them students. Okay. Dude, this is kind of cool. So you get the backstory behind everything. Corruption of our healers of tomorrow. We had one over here. Erosion of the two. Yaran poetry. All right. This is legit. A lot of backstory here. How are you the doing? Camera adds 10 pounds, Carlito. El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. <laughs> one for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends. But Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. I knew it, dude. Carlito is not a person. Carlito's a tank. What kind of man calls himself El Tigre? Strange terrorist, famous for killing with his bare hands, has left a legacy of brutality and violence across Yara. El Tigre has murdered hundreds of his fellow Yarans, including men, women, and children. We can only hope that one day he will pay for his crimes. I'm pretty sure Carlito is the tank that's outside. Ooh. What is this, a nuke? Some kind of a big bomb. There's, there's a tank. There's a tank right out there. You can see it on the mini-map. It looks like it's smoking. Pretty sure that's what, yeah. what we're... Enjoying your tour? Pretty sure that's what we need to take care of. Okay, let's um, let's try to get a better, better vantage point. Everybody get up top. Need you to just go ahead and shut up there. Just gonna take that out. I think I saw one over here. Yep. Good night. No backup now. I don't think we're supposed to be up here, so I'm trying to be careful. Have most everyone tagged except for somebody right underneath us? That's okay. Here we go. One and two down. There's one there. Oh, there he is. Totally thought he was a human at first, but I, I, I caught on. Eventually figured out. I thought he was going to be some sort of a weapon or something. How you doing, my man? Can I say say a few words? Carlitos busted. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. Okay. Yep, I can fix him. I've got a, uh, I got a blowtorch. We're going to be fine. Here we go. Come on, Carlito. Let's hurry up and get the heck out of here. Your boy is a uh, a master mechanic. El Tigre there it is. Carlito together again. Baby Tigre, drop in the I'm gonna grab everything I can before we hop out of here. Let me just make sure we got all this stuff. Forgotten classic. Automobile was owned by late President Gabriel Castillo, so it was Castillo's father, Anton's father. 
It was stolen from him and placed in storage by the coward Santos Espinosa. This classic beauty was forgotten for decades and found uh, with a thick layer of dust. After a thorough cleaning, Anton Castillo has graciously gifted this wonderful piece of yacht and history to the museum. Okay, sweet. So, let me hop up in here. Let's go. Carlito, it's nice to get to know you, buddy. Get that gate out of my way. We were reloading there. Couldn't shoot him. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, Carlito's got flames. Okay, well that that was that was really stupid of us. We're gonna take this thing down into a uh, secret secret path, I guess. Do a little bit of off roading. Dude, I love this. Instead of an, I mean, it's not as effective for sure, but definitely a lot more intimidating flamethrower attached to a tank. She just gets caught on a lot of rocks in the road and stuff like that. Can we just go straight through the water? I'll evaporate it out if we need to. Shoot. Maybe we just push the, the vehicles out of our way. That's what we're going to start doing. Yeah, let's... Oh, shoot. Might, might create a dam here. Carlito, can you... Okay, we're going to go up to the right. I, I'm going to be honest. This thing is nearly impossible to drive. It is, it is ridiculously difficult to drive. And the enemies just keep coming. This is... It's a very tight, tight path for many vehicles. At least Carlito's willing to fight like the rest of them. Getting so much XP right now. Just shoot, we're good. Castillo's special forces are hiding us. We're gonna fight them. How y'all doing? We're ready when you are. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, we've got a nice little cave back here. Okay. They're not gonna have a clue what hit them, baby. That went well. I love Carly. It's going to be one of ours. Yep. Lorenzo, you can't. Lorenzo, the boys are back together. Come on now. I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. We compai. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. See! My man! <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on! <laughs> Just a couple old timers reliving their, their past life. I love it. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. Looks like Carlito's taking down three planes so and uh, about Carlito. seven tanks. Happy to see you and Carlito, Not man. too bad. We've got a nice little hideout down here for him. Got a workbench, got some materials, scraps, all kinds of stuff. Nice one, Danny. Admiral Benitez is pissed off and has her troops working double shifts all across El Este. Sounds like we have her right where we want her. Meet me at El Agujero. I want to go over my attack plan. 
Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. Oh. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island <coughs> wasn't one of them. Okay. I mean, that... I like it. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. I, I, I think this is a fantastic plan. As we've been saying, man, it, it, it seems like their kids, you know, they're just fresh out of high school or whatever, may not exactly know what they're doing or what their plan is, but they're, I mean, they've got some good ideas, some fresh ideas. So that's her fortress out there on its own little island. Honestly, a, a pretty nice setup. I gotta, I gotta give it to her. You know, it's, it's close, close enough to, to keep an eye on everything, but also, you know, well protected naturally from the, the ocean around it. Sure, there's sharks and stuff. Wow. We've got Carlito blanketed up under the cover of night. Nobody's gonna see us coming. A big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. <laughs> so, I'm Santos? No. <laughs> you are me, the feast. Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. Will yeah. it into existence? I just imagined us destroying the Navy. We doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. I mean, I'm ready for it. Oh, we're getting destroyed. This does not look like it's going in our favor here. Okay. Gonna have to s storm the beach. Can we get in the front door, please, so I can come help out? I'm staying silent for now, but I need a, a way in here. Oh, we've got to re we've got to repair Carlito here. I got you, little buddy. Get you back in ship shape in no time. Come on. I'm just gonna stay behind you. Help you out, and then we'll fire on enemies as we see fit. Get on through, baby. You got this. Heal you up a bit more. Stop them! This battle will go down in history! Woo! You good, Lorenzo? I'm good. So is Carlito. It's like reconnecting with a low roast lover. Not a little growth. This is nothing new. Remember no way we survive right here. Holy cow! I did not expect to come around the corner and see that many enemies. Okay. Just gonna start picking them off one by one. You got this, Carlito. Keep pushing, bud. She's the only one that made it.
I'm good. Looks like this way's blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! Aguerrega has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! Are you guys seeing a, a way up? I'm not seeing a way up. If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside! Hold on a second. We're going to have to grab our... I uh, haven't had to use him in a while, but we're going to grab the big old flamethrower here. Beautiful. Oh, There's one way to take care... Oh, shoot. We can at least see which direction they're coming from. Another one. Was not ready for this many people in here. Hold on a second. Down. Down. Gonna heal up real quick. So we made it through the door. I don't know where we go next, though. Go through here. Ah. Down. Here, and I will deliver your corpses to Presidente Castillo myself. I think there's. Oh, sh shoot. Can we. Be over soon. I saw one upstairs, too. I saw one upstairs, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, we are taking damage. We are taking damage. Come on. I'm going to heal up real quick, and then we're going to hit this. We've, there's a ladder over to our right, too. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you are going to fall. Come on, come on, come on. Third one. Turn it off. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. Is there another? Another one? We're good. Last one. Come on, we're almost dead, dude. Come on, come on, you got this. Let's go, Donnie. How did I get to all the balls? Oh, that's that's fine. I mean, I'm not. I'm not worried about that at all. Holy cow. Okay. Got the northern wing key card. Baby Tigre, you still there? See, seems to be fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, El Tigre. Where do we think the northern wing is? Probably down here? Maybe here? Ah, okay. High value target. That's our girl. You are trapped and have nowhere to go. You will die here alone. Your friends are dying outside. Just wait till I get to the other side of that glass, baby. Don't you worry. Get the fuck out of here. Help me. I got you. Shoot. Open Just kidding. I can't, I can't. You can do it in the control room. The control room, all right. She left already. Got him out ahead. here. Release the fake yard and rats. You guys have any ideas how to get through this door? Like you. you guys got... Oh! Fuck. You think I no! Ready for an like no! This? No, 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 no! Nope! Nope! Get some dynamite back there. Oh, we're in trouble. There's another one. Pretty sure. He's down. Woo! Okay. Holy cow. Southern wing key card. So now, okay. So we went north. Now we're going south or west or wherever we were before. I'm not even sure. Slowly but surely make it our way through her base. We've got some friendlies in here. Oh, I thought you were a friendly. You're not. Hey, how y'all doing? Good to see you, Honron. And Yelena. You 
Where ready? do we go? You ready is my middle name. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Bing, bang, boom. Done. Be careful for a second. We reload. Whoop. This is a bottleneck. You have the advantage here. Can't be missing your shots, Trev. Let's go. There's gonna be a whole lot more of them up here. Got him. Oh. Well. I didn't mean to barrel sweep you, but don't don't walk in front of me either. She's up in her ivory tower up there. Gonna have to go finish her off. She just closed it. Okay. What's your What's your plan to get it open? We just gonna lift together? I don't think it works like that. Ah, uh -huh. I see how it works, though. I'm gonna take this nice little El Florisser revolver. Should be able to get this anti-air cannon. Synchronized cannons. Okay. We're just gonna sit here. We're gonna we're gonna take these guys out as they storm us. We're gonna defend Yelena as she hacks. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'm trying to keep an eye on the staircase. They keep all coming up the staircase. Oop, you can see like there's one over there. I'll get a close one though. Oop. Little collateral damage there. We're good. Got him. About 73% on the hack. Come on now. Keep it up, Yelena. I got you. We're coming around this way. Got a group of them. We're good. 84%. Danger close. We got them. Oop. Bunch coming up the thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Reload. Yes. That was like a five piece chicken nugget with fries. Ooh, what's up, buddy? Gonna take him down. Reload, 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 reload. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Dude, I love the multis. Looks like we've got some more over here. Okay. You ready? Little danger close there. Will you though? Don't don't die in this last moment, Trev. Don't die in the last moment. I'm gonna kill her with our pistol. I'm not reloading. Remember, switching to your secondary is always more effective. <sighs> Feels good. Feels Adios, good. Captain Price taught me that. <laughs> Ojo por ojo. Viva la moral! Ojo por... Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. Better be ready, Anton. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, Mama. Same mistakes. New faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. Enjoy your trophy. Unita is his private stash. <laughs> Huh? Ah. Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Viva la moral! Yeah. Dude, that's a big victory for us. That's what I'm talking about. 
Anton's right hand woman is down. There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you have Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the president has a strict... Open it! Diego, don't... Don't do this, please. Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched them die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you lose in this chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo. Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. We should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> I just don't want to see him corrupted. He started that. He was he was kind of like a little. He was inquisitive as as to how he could be better, but obviously his temper got the better of him there. I hope we can get to him before it's too late. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. We're going to take on our next missions and stuff. Oop. Not yet, but I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes. Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Chuchis. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Elena. All right, we're going to the bar. I'll see you guys there.